What's up guys? Greatly16 here once again. Once again. Once again. Once again. Play playing. What's up guys? Grantly16 here once again playing Clash Royale. Uh, I haven't made a video in a little while, so I start I thought I'd go ahead and uh, start one up. We're playing the Night Witch Challenge, seeing if we can get that Night Witch going. Uh, it's going to be really tough, but uh, we've managed to make it pretty far so far, and uh, we're going to see exactly what we can do with that. Okay, uh, we're going to pick the Bomb Tower first. Uh, the Baby Dragon, and I yeah, the Poison... I think we're going to go with a princess on this one, and uh, I think that'll be a pretty good combo. They do have Sparky, so we got to be careful of that, but that's that's okay, though. Uh, I think we can manage. Uh, princess going out first, just to see if I can get that first little chip damage. We are on win number 9, uh, moving on to win number 10. Here comes the Dark Goblin. I'm going to see if I can stop him with the Knife Goblins, and they do stop him very effectively. They have the Night Witch in this one, so we have to be very careful. Uh, I haven't really got adjusted to how exactly to stop the Night Witch uh, perfectly by using the least amount of elixir possible. So far, uh, the best thing to stop them well, uh, so far is like a wizard, something like that. Uh, the Night Witch, she is just really powerful, especially with those bats that uh, your ground units that you would usually use to stop a ground unit uh, doesn't even really affect the bats that it's throwing out. Only if you have an aerial shooting unit it affects it, but she doesn't attack air. Uh, she only attacks ground. So that's quite a, a disadvantage for her, but uh, it's not, I think uh, it's kind of an advantage for us. So. If I see one coming, I usually try to throw that baby dragon or something like that that she can't hit except for the bats on her, and uh, that yeah, usually stops her pretty well. Uh, but you'll see right here, uh, those bats come out. Uh, she had two bats ready, spawned four more bats, and they did a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, they're really hard to stop. Here comes the wizard to take out my princess. I'm getting about one to two shots off every single time with that princess. So that's going to be the key, I think, because I haven't really been getting into the tower too much. Uh, so that's going to be the main key. Uh, I have to. This bomb tower is actually saving me here. It, it's really hard to get past the bomb tower on this game now since it throws bombs so fast. Uh, I think it's just saving my life. I'm going to throw this baby dragon out to see if I can kill this furnace. And I'll also poison just in case they throw something else out and just in case the baby dragon dies before it's taken all the way out. Uh, here comes a wizard that's going to kill my witch, of course, and another bomb tower, because the bomb tower is saving my life. Like I said, um, it's going to take out this night witch and this wizard. Uh, he does have lightning, so we got to watch out for that. It looks like he's trying to lightning us down right now, so we got to be really careful about that. Uh, here comes a bunch of uh, fire spirits. That didn't really stop it that effectively but uh, it's all I could do at the moment. So we're poisoning him down pretty much. We throw this uh, bomb tower out. He should have one more set of fire spirits coming and that was a bad placement of a sparky there. Uh, that's just gonna get ate up by the bomb tower and I uh, mirrored the dragons, the baby dragons, so those are gonna be coming up to that tower. I hope it makes it. Okay, poison to stop this and uh, Come on, kill that Dark Goblin. Yeah, the poison got the Dark Goblin. We're eating his tower down. We've got 841, he's got 496. We're gonna get an extra shot or two. Okay, one shot, and uh, we're just two poisons away pretty much. We can mirror that poison, I think, and win. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Let me just cycle back around to it. Okay, poison, and we gotta be careful of what he's gonna throw out. Okay poison on top of that poison and it should take it out. I'm going to throw a princess in for good measure, but I think it should take it out. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we're moving on to the next win. We're going to see what we can do here. We're getting really close to uh, winning this thing. Look at here. Win number 10. 
Uh, so, we just got two more to go and we'll win the whole challenge. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to take Inferno. We're going to take Night Witch, of course, because it is the Night Witch challenge. I'm going to choose Lava Hound on this one. And uh, I, I really don't know about this one. Yeah, I guess I'll take Princess. Uh, I chose the Lava Hound because uh, I, usually the person with the tank, as long as they do, don't get too heavy of a deck, uh, the Lava Hound or the Golem are usually really good choices in the draft challenge, um, but you got to be careful. I, I'm not really sure what to do about this, so I'm just going to throw out the Knife Goblins. I don't have anything to take out his Elixir Collector, so we got to be careful. He's going to try to build up on us once he figures that out. Uh, he's going to try to build up on us a whole lot. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Okay, arrow on these... Uh, Goblin Barrel. Uh, we're going to throw the Night Witch out. See if we can build up a little bit behind this uh, Lava Hound here. We may not be able to. Uh, that is a really big disadvantage of the Night Witch. The fact that she does not shoot air. So that Baby Dragon is just going to tear her up. It seems like uh, in this challenge that's pretty much been her, uh, I guess you say, her anti-unit. Uh, the Baby Dragon. The Baby Dragon... 90% uh, of the people who defend against the Night Witch throw out a baby dragon if it is in the deck. So um, that's been a really complicated thing. I'm going to freeze this because I have no other option. Uh, we are going in with these Knife Goblins. I should have just froze and then arrows. It would have been 7 Elixir, but he spent 6 Elixir to throw that Ice Wizard and the Goblin Barrel. So uh, Inferno Tower is going to protect us from the baby dragon. And we're uh, a little bit ahead of him, not much. So we got to be careful uh, if we want to move on to the next match. we got to be really careful about this. Um, he is building up on us, as you can see. He's got those, those elixir pumps just pumping. Uh, we don't have the arrows up yet. Come on now. Oh my god, those, that goblin barrel completely raped me. Uh, we're going to go in with a night witch right here. He fireballed. I think I can freeze this. Maybe get some damage in with this Night Witch. Come on, Night Witch. Uh, there is the guard, so that's going to take that out. Um, dang. Wow, he completely shut that down. So he's beating me by 730 uh, HP right now. So let's start another Lava Hound push, because that's the only way I think we're going to win this. Lava Hound is the way to go, I think. We're going to see if we can get the uh, Archers... And arrow that down. Night Witch also. So now we've got a little bit of air defense. I'm going to throw this princess over to the side. So I can kind of be shooting this elixir pump in the process. Uh, that Night Witch isn't going to do much. But the uh, bats are going to come out. And the baby dragon actually just retargeted. So the baby dragon retargeted on the bats. Uh, even though it was first targeted on the uh, lava hound. So that's kind of crazy to me. Anyway, maybe we can take this baby dragon. Ah! Oh. He fireballed. That was a good fireball. That was a perfect uh, fireball situation. See if I can freeze this. Oh, it missed the baby dragon. That was that would have been really clutch had I froze the baby dragon too. It, it, they might have taken out all that. Anyway, uh, we got a big buildup coming up. We got to be careful here. Archers to help out. Uh, those bats are going to kind of hang in there. Oh, I wish that one archer wasn't splitting away. I'm going to have to throw Inferno also to help us out. Um... Here comes the Goblin Barrel again. He's got us down to 800, so we've got to be really careful here. Uh, if we lose one more, we've already lost two. If we lose one more, that's that's it. That's that's the whole challenge gone to waste. <laughs> so we've got to be careful. Um, I don't have my arrows up. That's a bad thing. And we're in overtime, so we've got to be careful. Okay, we're getting a good build-up going. Uh, we just took out one baby dragon. He just cycled to another, but I'm going to freeze it. And we'll see what we can do. We'll throw the princess to help out. Hopefully we can cycle to these arrows. Yeah, just in time. And uh, we've got a bunch of stuff. Those bats plus the lava pups plus the archers. I'm sitting in goblins. I'm sitting in archers. I got the princess in the back. And we won. That's what I'm talking about. Just barely. He was so far ahead of us. And he fireballed right at the last second. So that was really close. We're on 11 wins, guys. One more, and we win the Night Witch Challenge. We get the Night Witch early. So here's the Night Witch. Oh, Royal Giant. That's what I'm talking about. Guards, 
and we're gonna go with uh, let's go with fire spirit so he has three spells that's always a disadvantage in my opinion uh, if you have three spells because sometimes you'll be, just be sitting there if you haven't used any yet and you'll just have three spells and one other card so you only got one card to cycle or you can use the spells and uh, if you push them really hard in that situation it's really hard for them uh, to do anything so he's going to uh, instantly take a two elixir loss uh, with that rocket for the Night Witch. And uh, I'm gonna throw these out, see if we can get some quick damage. Uh, I got a little bit, but he, he has the Executioner, which is an extremely good card. I, I'm in a situation right here because I've got all executionerable units here. I'm gonna surround him with guards and see if that takes him out. Yeah, that did beautifully, actually. He only uh, shot at one of the guards. Uh, he has Elite Barbarians too, so he has a pretty good deck. I'm going to throw Goblin Gang out. We know he's got Zap, Arrows. Okay, he used the Zap, and my Night Witch is going to finish off this last Elite Barb. So uh, that's something to take into account. The Night Witch is pretty good against Elite Barbs. I don't know about, about by herself, but uh, four for six Elixir, you can throw something like Goblins out with her, and uh, that, that's a really good Elite Barb defense. Anyways, uh, we're, we're actually winning right now. And we haven't even done a whole bunch of work with the Royal Giant yet. So I'm going to throw that out. And we're going to see what we can do. I know he's going to throw out something, so I'm going to throw out guards. Ah! Oh, he happens to have a Valkyrie also. So this could be a, a bad thing. It's not reaching those two guards. So the two guards right there are just steadily uh, tearing her up. Uh, she's going to take out all my Knife Goblins. Uh, luckily, he didn't put that X-Bow close enough for it to shoot my tower. Because if he had... He might have taken my tower just then because I didn't have anything to put down. Anyways, I'm just going to kind of sit, chill, build up on Elixir. We've already got him down a heck of a lot from that Royal Giant. And uh, we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to log this just to finish it off because i got a feeling he's about to throw something. Okay, he's going to rocket me down. He's, he's getting uh, really, really desperate. Okay, we got uh, the Princess got off two shots. So we got him down to 300. He's only got us down to 1500. We'll throw the Night Witch to kind of uh, evade the axe from hitting my Electro Wizard with uh, the Royal Giant down. That should be a tower right here. And the bats are going to go to work on these elites. I'm going to throw Goblin Gang out as well. He's only got 30 seconds. I don't think he's going to be able to rocket me down in that amount of time, even though he does have three spells. Here comes the Valkyrie. Uh, I think we need to throw Electro Wizard to stop that. Uh, we need to be ready for... Uh, all of his other cards he's going to have. See, he's going to try to rocket me down. Just like I said, he's got me down to 800 now. 13 seconds left. He's going to have to cycle uh, two of them. He's going to have to do, yeah, a poison, an arrow, and a rocket to beat, to catch up to me. I think we can, I think we got it. I think we got it. That's it. That's game. That's what I'm talking about. Night Witch Challenge is done. <laughs> that was incredible, guys. I can't believe we just won the Night Witch. That is absolutely amazing collector right now the night night witch the legendary card now let's open the chest see what we get goblin hut witch bowler skeletons royal giant dark goblin guards heal minion horde so that's a ton of cards coming out of that chest on top of getting the night witch also so that is absolutely amazing all right, so that's going to be it for the Night Witch Challenge, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed uh, watching me play that and watching me win it. Finally got the Night Witch. Uh, I will be making another video really soon. Stay tuned for that and stick around. If you ain't subscribed already, definitely subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you think about my content. And uh, you will pretty much uh, sway the way my channel goes. See ya.